today's full day of eating people, meal one, we went for an omelette bagel, so I made a nice ham omelette, put some barbecue sauce in there and some cheese, this is a great breakfast option to have, it tastes good, it's high protein, you'll see the macros and calories on the screen, and yeah, this is going to be meal one. Folks, I've done my cardio on my treadmill. I'm fresh. Uh, what I'm gonna have now, quickly though, before I go on a quick walk to the shop, I am gonna have some of this porridge here. Oh, so simple oat, and I'm also gonna have it with some coffee. Uh, for the oat, so simple. What I'm gonna do is add a little bit of protein in it, and what I'm gonna add with it is a good old scoop of vanilla, the plain one. I haven't had plain vanilla in ages, so what I'm gonna do is literally just add not a full scoop, probably half a scoop. So if you wanna add protein to your regular like instant porridges, be sure to add a little bit extra water in these. Simply because if you add the regular amount of water, like it shows in the line on the inside, obviously when you add the protein, it's gonna become a little bit too, too thick. So personally, I would add at least a good centimeter above the line that appears in the packet. So yeah, I'm gonna have that now. Nice, simple and basic meal. Not every single meal has to be over the top, and especially when I'm in a rush, this is a good go-to. All right, folks, we are now back from the shops. Uh, so the things I got was, well, these were on sale, three for one pound, which is like super, super cheap because they go off at the end of this month. And to be honest, I eat like probably one pack of these like every four days. So I'll probably head back to that place. Uh, next up, we have got some chicken fillets, which to be honest, I haven't bought raw chicken fillets in ages to like cook myself. So we're going to do that. And egg noodles, which I'm not sure if I'm going to use today. Actually, I'll have one of these now while I sit down. That was like a good hour walking around the streets. So yeah, I have one of these now, you'll see it on my fitness pal near the end of the screen. But yeah, I'm gonna go chill and get back to you guys in a bit. So far people, we have seasoned the chicken, uh, mix it all up. The only one I haven't added yet is the fake Nando sauce, which I'll add when it's probably in the pan. Uh, I'm contemplating with the veg, adding one of these sweet tortilla wraps, just because I haven't had a chicken wrap in ages. That I've made from scratch, and last week I think I made the prawn one for you guys, and that one tasted delicious. Of the 300 grams of chicken, I'll probably put at least half in a wrap, uh, and then I'll eat the rest of it with this full pack of veg, just full of peppers and courgettes and things like that. Vegetables are super low calorie, which is why you're meant to have them in your meals throughout the day to kind of puff them out so you don't eat too much calories, especially when you're losing weight. So you gotta think, this full packet, which is very weighty, it's 400 grams, is 61 calories. Whereas one of these little wraps is like 187 calories. Um, so that just shows you, you know, I mean, which is gonna fill you up more. Right, so what I'm gonna do now is put this in the air fryer. Um, it should take roughly around 15 to 20 minutes maximum. And then I'm also gonna put this on the frying pan and set chef in. Let's test some of this. Mm. I forgot how good chicken fillets can taste when you cook them right. Like it's succulent. That tastes really, really good. When I first started like going to the gym and bodybuilding with a better diet like three years in, I used to always have chicken fillets to bite by the butt load. And I think that's one of the reasons why I kind of went off it a bit so I don't have it that frequent on the channel. Apart from the ones I get from Muscle Food which is already cooked for me and seasoned. Whereas this tastes banging, so I might have to bring them back because that tastes really, really good. I always say this when checking the chicken, make sure you slice it down the middle and it's white meat and it doesn't bleed any blood, then you're on to a winner. Check the biggest pieces first because you're going to see the calories and macros on the screen. It's going to come up to roughly around 700 calories. <laughs> anyway, the wrap is done. I'm also going to add cheese to the wrap, probably only about 10 grams, uh, just for the chicken to melt on top of it. And in the wrap, just like I did with the... Um, with the prawn wrap in the last video if you haven't seen it check it i'm gonna put a little bit of sweet chili in it just so i can compare which one tastes better all right so we have our chicken wrap here i put around probably 200 grams of the chicken in it uh, but what i'm probably going to do is actually add it to the air fryer just to kind of make the the tortilla a bit more crunchy 
Alright folks, I'm going to put the meal all together. Probably wondering why I've left it in the packet. Purely because there's a lot of juices in there that I'd rather just like the veg to keep to kind of keep the flavour rather than put it on the plate. Uh, so yeah, I'm going to eat the wrap. To be honest, this could be two separate meals as I mentioned earlier, I think. Because the wrap itself would have probably come up to around probably around 450-ish calories. And the veg one with a little bit of chicken that's in there probably would have been like around 200 or so. Um, but I'm going to eat them all together just because I made them. If I didn't plan to have the tortilla, then it probably would have been a lot easier just to have it all in the veg pack. But yeah, that's what I'm going to have right now. Macros and calories should be on screen. But yeah, man, I'm pretty hungry after like walking and all that stuff, so I'm happy to eat this. I forgot to come back and say, the wrap tastes damn good. I would say the prawn wrap from last week's better, but the chicken does taste pretty damn good. Next up folks, what we're going to do is make a pizza. We're going to end the day out on a nice, simple meal that I love having every so often because we've already hit our protein goal. I totally forgot how easy it is to eat your protein goal when you have chicken fillets. Like those 300 grams of chicken fillets I think came up to like 100 grams of protein in itself. Which is normally more than having one sitting, but it is what it is. But anyways, the basic ingredients for making homemade pizza is get some sort of bread base, tomato puree and cheese and that's about it. However, I'm going to add some seasonings on top to give it a little bit more flavour. It is a very simple recipe, however, I like to kind of mix it up and add extra things. So I'm going to cut up some of the pepper, add a little bit of chorizo, parsley, smoked paprika and garlic seasoning. And just to give it a little bit more spice and flavour. But if you prefer it basic or just want to try this recipe out for the first time, probably just stick with any sort of bread base, cheese and tomato puree. And it could be normal bread, but I've used pitas here. Or you can use a tortilla, so whatever you prefer. Quick tip as well, when doing this, if you're going to add toppings, be sure to put them on before the cheese because you want the cheese to be the last thing because then it will glue it into place. Here it is, the, these easy to make pizzas. They're fairly low calorie as well. Each pizza is roughly around 230 calories and around 12 grams of protein. So in total, this is around 460 calories and around 25 grams of protein, which is pretty good. The best thing about this recipe is it's super simple and super quick. Um, I'd probably have this as more as a snack. I wouldn't have this as a main meal. For me, it isn't that that filling, but it's really, really tasty, especially if you crave pizza. Uh, many people tend to burn these, but if you haven't got any meat cooking, this should only take around, on, on a decent heat in an oven or an air fryer, around four to seven minutes, depending on how high you put it. Do not put it in there for like 30 minutes, like a frozen pizza, it's not that. But yeah, man, it's a nice, simple recipe that I'm gonna enjoy right now. And the only other thing I'm probably gonna eat today, after this, probably about an hour's time, is a fiber bar here. And also a portion of hot chocolate. That's probably the only other things I'm gonna eat later on today. In terms of the macros and calories, you should be seeing them on screen. We should have reached roughly around, say, 2,400 calories. Protein's gotta be over 170 grams, so I'm happy. So anyways, people, if you enjoyed this video, please drop it a thumbs up and let me know what other calorie number you wanna see me go for next. Deuces. Make a million cash for you flatline. Make a master plan, watch it backfire.